Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Rigel Destiny and today I am going to be doing a Mexican soda taste review. Medico! Alright, so what I got here in front of me... 10 soda bottles from Mexico in front of me. I have 8 sodas called Jaritos which in Spanish means little jars. Then at the end, I have what looks like it says Mundant, which is supposedly an apple cider. And at the very least, which does not really go with this pattern of sodas, but I also have Sangria Senora. Basically, it's like a kind of like a fruit slash wine, but without alcohol. So I am just going to give my honest opinion with each of one of their tastes because I'm a big sodas fan and I've always been interested in different country sodas. In this case, Mexican. I've made my decision to start off with left to right. We're gonna go with Sangria Senor first. All right, this is it. Number one. Oh, son of a biscuit. This one's a spewer. Oh, it's actually because I dropped it before the video started. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, all right. Wow. That's delicious. I like that. Highly recommend it. This is very delicious. <clears throat> all right. So far, I'm satisfied with what we have. Now we're going to be moving on to the Mundant. It says it's carbonated, but I guess it's like basically apple flavored type soda. Ah. All right. Hmm. That smells good. Hmm. That that that's fantastic. It's basically naturally flavored apple soda. I'm gonna be all filled up on soda before even dinner tonight. Okay. So far, so good. Moving on. Okay, so I saw this, Menoriuga, so something weird. I can't pronounce this name. Basically, it says it's just water, and maybe it's not even actual a soda. It's probably just water. Whoa, wait. I didn't even read the ingredients, but holy cow. This thing has carbonation in it. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Oh, whew. Nope, uh-uh, not my, not my liking at all. How stupid can I be? It's not soda, it's carbonated water that you're supposed to add sugar into to give it a flavor. So it's sparkling water, but it's not an actual soda. It tastes horrible. You're supposed to take a drink mix and mix it with that and you make your own pretty much homemade Harido. <coughs> Excuse me. Next we're going for the we're going with this guy. Tamarine. Mm, I gotta get that taste out of my mouth in the sparkling water, but kind of smells like, this one kind of has a little bit of an apples type smell to it. Well, I'll be the judge with the taste. Yeah. Oof, nope. No way, no. Ah. Okay, so far I haven't had the best satisfaction. I've only been satisfied with these two right here. But uh, this guy, no, I, I don't like this one. This one's weird. <coughs> okay, so two so far, not to my liking. But I have, a, I have a good feeling about these last six because these all look delicious. They all look very um, interesting flavor. It, interesting flavor. Uh, got interesting flavored. Now we're gonna be moving on to the lime right here, and I like lime. I was a little disappointed that I couldn't find a lemon flavored, so I'm I'm gonna have to just see how I get by with lime, which is not bad. So lime flavored. Here we are. Ooh, right. Carbonation going out of there. Lime smells like lime, and the taste. 
Mm. Yeah. It. It's not bad. It's 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 all right. It's drinkable, but I wouldn't go out and get this all the time. It's okay. It's okay. It's just not like as good as the old uh, apple juice and sangria. Okay. Well, we are gonna be moving on to the pineapple. Pineapple. And um, I'm not too fond on most pineapple stuff, flavored stuff, nor pineapples themselves, but. We will see how it is in soda. Yeah, it smells just like pineapple, which smells pretty good, but all right, let's see. Mm. No, not bad. It's it's not the best, but way, way, way better than the old lime. <laughs> It, it's actually pretty good. It's basically got extra flavors with the pineapple and like you would say extra sugar. Well, there's another satisfaction to add to my list. All right, we are now moving on to uh, mango. And now I, I may sound picky, but I'm not too big a fan on mangoes, but maybe I might may be misjudging this soda too. It might be just as good as like the pineapple. We are going to taste this now. Who's we? I don't know. Okay, enough talk. We are going into the thing. Ooh, this one has a lot of uh, frost coming out of it. I mean, these are ice cold, so here we are. Mango. It smells just like a mango. <laughs> that is rude, Aaron. Why would you do that? Tell your YouTube friends. Mm. Too much mango taste to it. It's all right, but it's not my favorite. Well, just extremely strong mango taste. So I'd probably just scooch this one aside and, and then I'll make my decision with these last three, which I'm really hoping that these three will go to what I'm looking for in sodas. All right, now we are moving on to the Mandarin, which is which is just orange. So, and now I love orange. I have a good feeling about this one because orange is very good. I just um, hope it's not as plain tasting as mango. There it is. Okay, M Mandarin. That smells pretty good actually. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, mm, that is good. That's a good one. Mandarin, highly recommend. That one's delicious. Well, so far, I have a couple winners here, a couple losers. I'll be the final judge at the end. I'm gonna finish off these last two sodas and he here we go. Next up, we have strawberry. And I am a big fan of strawberry. I love strawberry flavored stuff and also really love um, actual strawberries. So may, I have another good feeling that maybe strawberry will be pretty good. Mm. All right, all right, all right. And it smells just like strawberries with a bit of a soda. Taste of it, just drink the drink. Mm. Oh man, it's not as, wasn't as rich as I was expecting it. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely a lighter soda. Ah, oh, dang, that's, that's a disappointment for me. The aftertaste is actually all right. It's the aftertaste that's all right, but like while drinking it, it's not really the best. I mean, I don't know how that makes sense, but this is just a tasting video. I'm, I'm not like doing anything crazy here. All right, guys, last but not least, we are heading on to the, what is this one called? Fruit Punch. Fruit Punch. And this is basically, yeah, this one's a little bit of a brighter red than the Straw Basri, but um, 
All right, we let, I'm gonna try Fruit Punch. Let's just hope that I end with a good note here. Um, and then I'll be the fi I'll do the final judgment of all of the sodas from favorite to least favorite. Here we go, Fruit Punch. Okay, this is it. The final one, Fruit Punch. Wow. Smells pretty good. Basically, basically smells just like how fruit punch would smell, like you'd smell in the stores. Here we are. <laughs> That's definitely a good one. Yeah! Fruit punch, probably my top favorite one here that I've actually had so far out of this like main section of them. Mexico, you do not disappoint me. That's very good. Here's what I think, what I like from top to finish. Um, probably gonna go with the fruit punch. So we'll definitely put that on first in line. Oh, the Mandarin was very good. So I'm gonna put that guy in second. Um, I'll definitely say probably the third would be the pineapple. We'll put pineapple next. And then, um, I'd probably add the Sangria Senora because this one was very good. It's pretty rich too. I'm probably gonna add the Sangria next and then I'll probably add the Apple Cider and then perhaps the Lime just because it was kind of so-so. And then this is probably where I'll say the Strawberry, Mango, Tamarind, and the Sparkling Water. This is my order from favorite to least favorite. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to go this way. I mean, when you're trying new different kinds of foods and drinks from other countries and cultures, um, you can be very surprised by when you actually experience consuming them, other than just judging by the cover. This is just my personal opinion from favorite to least favorite. If you guys see these kind of sodas, um, you know, for the heck of it, post a video response of you doing it. Uh, that actually would be really cool to see you guys give a shot at these guys right here. One thing that's very interesting about these sodas that I did not mention is they have no caffeine, no high fructose corn syrup, and they're gluten free. Three things that can be harmful to some people with um, drinks and food. These guys have none of the above. They're practically just carbonated with a lot of sugar in it. They do have quite a bit of sugar. I'd say especially probably these last few. Um, maybe other than Sangria probably didn't have as much sugar. It just probably had a little bit more boldness to the fruit. There you have it, the Mexican Soda Review. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be sure to post more videos when I can. I do apologize about not uploading as often. It's been a couple weeks, but I appreciate you guys staying tuned in and always ready for the new content I have yet to send your way. And this is Rigel Destiny signing off with the Mexican Soda Import Taste Review. Remember to protect, unite, inspire, and expand your friends, as I have. And it is time to live your dream and become one. Peace!